Well, at the Cape Hamilton Senior Center, a petition is filled with signatures calling for the resignation of two center leaders. But these authorities say they aren't going anywhere because most members are on their side. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Kosloff joins us live in the Sussex County Bureau. And Evan, you got a copy of that petition. Yeah, I have the petition right here in my hands. There are 79 names in all. That's out of 1,000. 54 members, but the executive director, her name is Leslie Bullard. She says that this is just a small group of people who are complaining. She says in general, the center is moving forward. A group of about a dozen seniors gather outside the Cape Henlopen Senior Center. They are there to tell WBOC about the concerns they have with the center's leadership. We want our senior center back. Member Nellie Schaefer says Executive Director Leslie Bollert and Board President Patrick Cannon need to go. What is she doing wrong? Everything. She's not treating us like we're uh, members. Schaefer was one of 79 who signed a petition over the last year calling for their resignation. Schaefer says leadership has lacked transparency and has made decisions including the firing of some staff without consulting the members. So WBOC reached out to speak with Bullard about the petition. She chose not to speak on camera, but in a statement, she said, quote, with any organization, there's bound to be people who agree to disagree, but 95% of the membership are very positive, very active, and very happy with the center. Bill Gordon, another member, says he stands by Bullard and Cannon. He notes that the center has more than 1,000 members. Here's how he characterizes the people who signed the petition. It's a small group, and they're trying to claim uh, that they're the voice for our senior center, and I really don't appreciate it. And in fact, I'm, I'm pretty PO'd about it because uh, um, they have no right to be speaking for us and, 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 and holding meetings and claiming that they're the, uh, they are the voice of the center. The, the opposition group's message is being heard by elected officials like State Representative Peter Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf says that the debate is troubling for a program partially paid for by state funding. The money comes from grants and aid funding meant to help nonprofits. Schwarzkopf says any program funded by tax dollars should be held to a higher level of scrutiny. When you have a senior center that is this, in this much turmoil, you have to look at the day-to-day -day operations and who's, who's doing that. And that is the executive director and, and the president of the uh, executive board. But back at the center, these members continue to debate the best way to keep this center moving forward. Now, about an hour ago, we did also receive a statement from Pres the board president, Patrick Cannon. I'll read you that statement. He said, quote, this whole thing about the people accept, but despite it, those all right, it looks like we were having some difficulties there, but let me read that statement to you. It said, this whole thing is about the unwillingness of the people to accept a new director, and despite their complaints, he says the center is moving in the right direction. That was Evan Kosloff reporting for us.